Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to my review of the Eisenwheel S9 Max. Now this is a 200 mile review. So I've driven this scooter over 200 miles and you'll take a look at my scooter. You can tell that I've been riding this scooter. It doesn't look all fresh out of the box. It's not all polished and brand new looking. It got some scuffs on it. It got some marks on it, but that's how you know I've been actually riding this scooter. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into this review. But first, let's go ahead and go on a quick little ride here. Let's head on out. Now, first thing I want to talk about is Ison Wheels customer support. And I got to say, it's really good. I had a very positive experience with their customer service. I had an issue with the battery on this scooter and they sent me out a new battery right away. I was able to swap out the batteries and it really fixed the issue I was having with my scooter here. So on today's ride, I'm going to be traveling about seven miles um, in the city of San Dimas right now, heading up towards the corner of Bonita and San Dimas Canyon Road, as you can see right there. I'm going to go ahead and stop at the light, cross the street, but we're going to go ahead and head up towards the University of Laverne. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here for a moment, and then I'll tell you some more about the scooter. And another thing I like about the Isonwheel S9 Max is the fact that it's a very user-friendly scooter. Now, I've had all types of people test out this scooter when it came to family and friends, and they all seem to be very comfortable getting on the scooter. It doesn't look super intimidating, and the acceleration is gradual. So if you know like some scooters that you press the throttle and it just takes off, it just has way too much power um, off the line. Not the case with this scooter here. Like I said, the speed is gradual. It'll just kind of slowly get you up to the top speed. There's two different modes. The first mode is like a drive mode, kind of like eco, which goes about 50 miles per hour. And then you have the sport mode that can go from all the way from 17 to 20 miles per hour, depending on weight of the rider and the terrain, as well as battery life. Now for me, I can pretty much get the speeds between 17 and 18 miles per hour. Now the max payload on this scooter is 220 pounds. So I'm a 200 pound rider. So I'm getting right to the top of the max payload. But I've had other riders that were a lot lighter than me, less than 200 pounds, and they're able to achieve 18, 19 miles per hour uh, perfectly fine. So again, it just depends on the rider weight and terrain and how much battery life you have will determine how fast of a speed you can achieve on the scooter. All right, so we pretty much made it here to the University of Laverne. It was only a couple miles away from my house, but we're gonna keep on scooting here and go ahead and talk more about the Isonwell S9 Max. Now, one of the reasons I like coming up this way is because this right here, there is bike lanes in the city of Laverne, which is really nice to see. Now, the more and more I ride scooters, the more I realize that there's just not enough bike lanes in all these different streets and roads and cities. So I wish there was a lot more bike lanes. Um, going back to the Isonwell S9 Max now, again, 10 inch solid tires. They are the honeycomb tires. Good thing about that is you don't have to put air and you don't have to worry about flats. And as you can see, I just made that turn right there, that corner and the solid tires actually handle very well. If you wanna do some carving on the S9 Max, you can definitely do that with this scooter. Now, as you can see, we got the throttle and then on the left-hand side, we got the electronic brake. 
which actually works pretty good there. And then we also got the rear disc brakes. Now with the rear disc brakes, I've had to do some adjustments every now and then. Um, and I think that's pretty much normal with any scooter, but the brakes are still working perfectly fine. No issues there. And then when it comes to the scooter here, you are gonna get the IP x4 water resistance so you do got some water resistance now i wouldn't you know go submerge this in deep puddles and drive through heavy rain but yeah i mean i've driven this scooter through some light puddles through like some sprinklers and the scooter was perfectly fine functioning as normal and i'll take a look at the parking lot here look at all these cars i mean if you don't live too far from your college campus or from your school i mean you would definitely benefit from getting a scooter here especially on a nice day like this what a nice ride to go from like your home or from your dorm over to the campus and, and just enjoy a ride. Very, very therapeutic in my opinion. And there's plenty of places to lock up your scooter on campus, plenty of campus security. Again, it's a lot better option owning your own scooter than paying for those rental scooters like the bird and the lime scooters i'm not a fan of those they're always so disgusting and dirty and half the time they're broken they're not even safe but with your own scooter you can maintain it and make sure everything's working and functioning properly and plus you get a warranty with your scooters as well and as you can see the kickstand is still holding up perfectly fine 200 miles later the lights are all working good nice cable management no issues with the cables as well as the folding mechanism this scooter does fold down and it only weighs 36 pounds so it's fairly lightweight and easy to carry around if you need to talking about the handlebars there the grips are really good in my opinion i actually like these grips better than the Segway 9 Bot Max. They feel more comfortable in your hands and your palms don't get sweaty, you know, when you are riding the scooter for long periods of time. And then you also got really nice foot space on the deck here. So the footboard is really nice, it's comfortable, it's grippy, and my shoes are size 10s and they fit nice and comfortable. And you know, it's a really nice grippy deck that you have here on the S9 Max. But yeah, you know, just a quick little look around here at the University of Laverne area. Now with the S9 Max here, you're gonna get a 500 watt brushless motor. Now that motor is gonna be in the front, so it's in the front wheel, and it's working perfectly fine 200 miles later, no issues whatsoever. And suspension, suspension is really good on the S9 Max. So you got suspension to the front and suspension to the back. And like I said, it works extremely well. It definitely helps up soaking up a lot of the bumps. As you can see the lines on the sidewalk, I really don't even feel them thanks to that really good suspension. It's nice and soft and you can even bounce, you know, jump on the scooter and you'll feel that suspension working. And when it comes to this display here, the one thing I like about it is the fact that I can actually see the display in direct sunlight. So I know with a lot more affordable scooters, uh, budget scooters, you won't be able to see the display in sunlight, it gets washed out. But with S9 Max here, you'll be able to see the display perfectly fine in direct sunlight, which is really nice.
Now, when you look at the cost of this scooter and everything that you're getting, now, I mean, this scooter right now retails for $369. There is a $10 off coupon code for Black Friday which will be in the description below of this video if you want to use it. I mean, for $359, you're definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck, in my opinion. And like I said, I've ridden this scooter over 200 miles, and I really don't have any issues with this scooter whatsoever. Now, the only thing that I will mention with this scooter is if you are going to be riding this scooter at night, okay, if you're going to be riding at night, I would get a secondary headlight i mean the headlight that you get on the s9 max it's nice it's a nice headlight but i just don't feel like it's bright enough when you are riding at night and i've ridden this scooter at night many many times so i would definitely get a secondary light maybe off amazon get something with like 5,000 lumens so you'll have better visibility when you are riding at night just kind of keep that in mind all right i also want to mention here that there is an app that you can download and connect via bluetooth to your s9 max this is really awesome having this application because i know other scooters in the same price category don't offer an application where you can connect via bluetooth but as you can see you get all types of information here when it comes to your scooter as you can see the total miles well over 200 miles i've driven this scooter you can also see the miles for the trip for today which is going to be seven miles and you can also see the remaining miles uh, available based on the battery life so a lot of good information here and this application you can go ahead and enable or disable cruise control you can lock your scooter you can turn the lights on and off with this application so you know like i mentioned there's a lot of bang for your buck here with the ice and wheel s9 max in my opinion now i want to go ahead and share this video that i shot some time ago about the s9 max i made this youtube video youtube short and it's the fact that this scooter offers usb charging now this is an awesome feature that you don't see even in more expensive scooters but you get it here on the s9 max so this is perfect for charging up your mobile device charging up your bluetooth speaker while you're riding basically your scooter has to be on and then you're just going to go ahead and plug in your usb data cable to the usb charging port plug into your phone and just like that you're going to have charging on the go another cool feature with the s9 max is that you get this storage bag included with the purchase this storage bag is completely free when you purchase the S9 Max. I mean, again, a lot of bang for your buck. So you're probably wondering where's that little folding mechanism right there. I went ahead and removed it because I needed to apply a GoPro as well as a phone mount, but you'll have a little folding mechanism on yours. Again, a nice little display there with a the button to control the different modes and power on and off your scooter. Got the electronic brake right there as well as the bell. And you know, you get some nice handlebars here. You can definitely add some, you know, additional accessories if you need to. As you can see with the back tail light there, when you press on the brakes, it will flash which is really nice, still works perfectly fine. Now, when it comes to range here, I can average between 15 to 17 miles of range. It just depends on how hard I'm riding this scooter, if there's any hills. That's pretty much it for my 200 mile review of the Ison Will S9 Max. I highly recommend this scooter. I think it comes at a great price point. Again, you get a lot of great features here with this scooter. Definitely recommend it. All right, if you're interested in this scooter, I'll drop a link in the description below of this video to Ice and Wheels website. Check it out. There's a lot of deals going on right now. You can save some money, especially with Black Friday coming around the corner. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.